Welcome back. My guests today say they want to put the fire back into their love life. Please meet Stephanie. She says she's tired of her boyfriend's alter ego. Stephanie, what's going on? Hi, Jerry. Hi. Um, my boyfriend is obsessed with you. He thinks he is you, Jerry. It's actually, it's, it's weird because I'm standing here looking at you. I know it's, sword help? it's not that scary. It's yeah. okay. But, um, you know, I'm standing here looking at you, and it's weird because it's almost like I'm looking at art. Oh, like, everything we do, I'm, like, in the Jerry Springer show. Um, we met about six months ago at a guitar barbecue in Nashville. It's a songwriter's barbecue. And, um, and I was attracted to him because, uh, you know, he had oh, a bunch of people. I, w <laughs> no. I was. I was. He had a bunch of people around him, and, you know, I was like, I wonder what the deal is. So I walked over to him, and uh, he looked like Jerry Springer. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, I can put up with that, you know, and, uh, you know. And so, uh, so. <laughs> okay, it's not immediate love at first sight, but <laughs> could he get a nose job or something? <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah. But he had on your glasses, he had your hair all done, he had a suit on. And so, you know, it was cool. It was like, all right, you know, um, that's all right. So we started dating, and that was like back in June or whatever. And so he'd probably dress up like you like two days a week. And, um, you know, we'd go out to parties. We'd go out to parties, and, you know, everyone would come up and ask for your, his autograph. He'd sign Jerry Springer. Are you and, intimate with him? Am I intimate with him? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> how is he in bed? <laughs> Probably not as good as you, Jerry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And okay. Um, yeah. so, uh, um, where was I at? Um, I know. I'm confused, too. Okay, so oh, this sorry. guy, he just... dresses up like twice a week. You yeah, say he see, just... okay, right. He dresses up like two times a week. But since Halloween, when we, um, when we, uh... <laughs> okay, um, hi. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it. See, I, um, I never and, hold uh, their attention. <laughs> and so, but Halloween was like the huge changing point. Yeah. I, I'm a singer and a songwriter, and I was out singing at a venue, and uh, he walks in a little bit late, um, dressed up like Jerry Springer. The, the venue turns off the lights, announces that Jerry Springer's in the house. All my entire audience who's focusing on me turns towards him, run up to him and ask for autographs and start taking pictures with him. And I'm thinking to myself, you guys really think Jerry Springer is here? I don't think so. But everyone believed it. I tried to get their attention. I started singing even better on stage. But, um... I gotta come down to this club. <laughs> it's seriously fun. It's, it's in Nashville? Fun. Yes, Nashville. And so, uh, you know, after we went home that night, he started getting a bunch of emails. Um, like, people wanted to email him the picture of them. And, um, you know, he just got... A huge ego. He just thought it was like the, mo the greatest thing on earth. And so um, he started dressing up like you five to seven days a week. And he goes to work dressed in suits. And he normally would wear well, t-shirts. Well, people and wear shorts. suits. Thank God that I know. Look and like you me. know, it's funny because it's not like you're dressed like totally unusual. It's just that it's totally not him. You know, he doesn't do that. It's not There's him. There's another compliment. It's not totally unusual. I mean, yeah, I know. It's kind of you know, normal. And it's, he, he got non-prescription glasses just so he can wear them like you. And it's just, you know, he carries around a microphone and cue cards that say Jerry Springer all the time. Well, that's... Dude, <laughs> dude Well, people it's ridiculous. might think I'm really a it's, dork it's, walking it's, down it's the making... street. Boy, yeah. Boy, that Springer, man, he's really into himself. He's... Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. And um, I'll, like, come over to his house and, um, you know, I'll walk through the door. I'll be like, hi, honey, how are you? And he'll be like, uh-huh. Uh huh. And if I don't go, Jerry, 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 when I walk in, he will freak out and he will think like he'll be like, Stephanie, is there something? Is there a secret you need to reveal to us today? Like I'm talking to an audience. I'm dead freaking serious. It's unbelievable. He'll call me at night and be like, Stephanie, what is your final thought for the evening? I'm like, Art, I don't have a final thought. He'll be like, Oh well, that's okay. Yeah. Here's mine. I gotta I tell you, I really don't do that. <laughs> you know? Okay, once. All right. Once in a while I've done that, but yeah, no, I don't do that. But I'm just sick of it. I'm, I'm sick of it. Hey, I I'm met sorry. Him. It's not me. <laughs> yeah. I met him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You know, yeah. I just, I know Art, I know who he really is, and I love him. I know he's compassionate. We both share the gift of music. We're both vegetarians. We're both very social. We like to party. We have a good time. Yeah. And, you know. Now, if he's gone he's... one day. What? I mean, no, uh, okay. So. Uh, I missed that. Here, oh, I got to see this. This is Art.